Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can set up a flux node. Why? Because we want to earn some flux coins. As always, all the necessary links are down in the description as well as the timestamps so you can skip any part of the video. And this is not a financial advice, I'm just showing you how to set up a flux node. What you can see here are three types of nodes that you can run and you can also see the amount of flux that you need to lock up in order to start the node. You also have a minimum hardware requirement. This means that the custom server or the VPS that you are running needs to fulfill these requirements. How this works is that the node will benchmark your system and if it doesn't fulfill these requirements, it will not start properly. So make sure your custom server or your VPS fulfills those requirements. And down here you can see the percent of the block reward that will go to you as the node operator. In this video, I will show you how to set up a Cumulus node. Now before we start, I will assume three things. First, that you already bought the amount of flux that you need to run the node, either on CoinMetro or KuCoin. You can find the links down in the description. Second, that you already have the needed hardware to run it or the VPS to run it. In my case, I have a VPS that fulfills these hardware requirements. You can also find the list of some VPS providers down in the description. And third, that you already installed the Zelle Core Wallet. The link will be also down in the description. So you need to send the flux over from KuCoin or from CoinMetro to your Zelle Core Wallet. And with that said, let's get over to Zelle Core and let's see how we can lock the amount of flux. Right now I am in Zelle Core in my payments wallet and I have all those coins in my wallet. So what you need to do, you need to send the right amount of flux, in our case this is 1000 flux, to another wallet. And I will send it into this green wallet which I renamed to nodes. The name of the wallet doesn't matter at all. The only thing that matters is that you send the right amount of flux to another wallet. And the wallet needs to have zero flux. So there shouldn't be any flux in there. All right, let's send it over. So I am in the payments wallet and I will go to flux. And here I will send, write your pin. I will send 1000 flux to my notes wallet. That's it, send, yes. All right, it is in progress. So you can close this and let's get over to my notes wallet. Notes. Now, if you don't see flux here in your wallet, then you need to go to manage assets, add asset and find flux here and add it. And all right, the incoming transaction. So I should have 1000 flux in there. Let's see if this is the case. I will deactivate the filter. All right, 1000 flux. So now go to apps and go to flux nodes. And now you should see a node pop up here because it should already detect that you have the right amount of flux to run the node. All right, here it is. And it has one confirmation. To fully start the node, you will need to have 100 confirmations. So this can take a few hours. But in the meantime, we can prepare the server, the VPS in my case. And therefore I will open PuTTY. Or you can use WSL, but this assumes that WSL is running on your system and also that you have the Linux distribution running. So for simplicity, I will just use PuTTY. I have already installed it. And if you want to know where to download it, you can find the link down in the description. All right, let's start PuTTY. So this old school looking tool is PuTTY. And what you need to do, you need to put here the IP address of your server. And that's what I will do. Port needs to be 22. This is the SSH port. Before we start, I will just change the font size to 20 okay and open first time it will ask if you trust the server yes we do all right login as so you should also have the login information of your server of course and how this usually works you get the login information of the root user so that's what i have root this is my user and i'll write the password all right i'm in and also notice this here i'm running ubuntu 20.04 here and now let's go to the official setup guide you can also find the link down in the description. I'm basically going through this guide. So we already did that. All right, here it starts. So first we need to install curl and npm. So let's do this. Now before we run anything, let's do apt update and apt upgrade dash y. And now let's install apt install dash y curl npm. All right, already installed. And now we need to run this script. So copy this over here. I will just right click, it will paste and enter. It will download the script and run it. So first we need to install Docker. Let's go with the option one and enter. Now we need to add a new user. I will call the user Cumulus. All right, and I will give it a strong password. 
All right, now it's installing Docker. This can take some time. Done. Yes, we want to switch the user, so press Y. As you can see, it switched to Cumulus. Now let's run the script again. Copy and right click paste. Enter. Next thing we need to do, we need to install Flux Node. So let's go with the option number two. Enter. Now let's write your Cumulus password. All right, let it install. And while it installs, it will ask you a few things. First, it asks you for the Flux Node identity key. So go over to Zellcore. And now in Zellcore, expand the node. Go to Edit. Now here, this is the identity key that we need. But first, let's fill out the name and the IP address. I will call this node Cumulus1. And I will also copy in the IP address of my server. Now just click on the identity key. It will copy it. You see this message, it was copied. Let's go back to Putty and just right click to paste it in. And OK. Now it needs the transaction ID. Let's go back to Zellcore. Transaction ID, just left click on it. It will copy it. Back to Putty. Right click, paste it in. OK. And the output index is 0. Back to Putty, 0. OK. Now it needs the Zell ID and it also says how to get it. So you need to go to Zellcore, Apps, Zell ID and click on the QR code. So that's what we will do. Save that. Now go to Apps, Zell ID and click on the QR code. All right, it copied the Zell ID. Back to Putty, right click. OK, now wait for the next prompt. Now it wants to download the bootstrap file. Let's go with the first option. OK, and let it download. Would you like to enable alert notifications? So these are notifications for your Discord server if you have one. I will go with no here. All right, we are done. Now here you will see some useful commands how to maintain your Flux daemon. Like for instance, how you start the daemon, how you stop the daemon, how you get help, and so on. Now let's see if the Flux daemon is actually running. So write sudo systemctl status zell cache, enter. All right, here you can see the daemon is active and running. Let's go over to Zellcore and back to Flux Nodes. Expand the node and go to Flux OS. This will open the browser and connect to your node running on your IP address. And currently it says Flux is not confirmed because we are still waiting for these 100 confirmations. Now first let's log in into the node. I will copy this message, copy, and back over to Zellcore. Now I will go to Apps. Zell ID, click sign message, my pin number, and now paste the message in, sign. All right, now I will click on the address here to copy it. Go back to the browser, paste the address here, back to Zellcore. Now I will click on the signature to copy it, back to the browser, paste the signature, log in. All right, we are successfully logged in. Now let's check the benchmark. Benchmarks, get status. And yes, we passed the benchmark, we have a cumulus node. All right, now the only thing we need to do, close that and back to Flux Nodes. The node is still offline, and if we expand it, we still need to wait for 100 confirmations, and then we will get a new button somewhere here where we can start the node and earn some Flux. And finally, 100 confirmations, and now you should see this Start button here, and the only thing we need to do is just click on the button, Start, and Start Flux Node. Now the status is starting. Now it's changed to confirmed, and we can ignore the message down here. All right, let's go to Flux OS to our node. You know, you can see here Flux is running correctly, and that means we are done. We are getting the rewards. Now let's get back to Putty. We are done here. Just close it. Close session. We can close the browser as well. Close that one. The status of the node is confirmed. Now here on the right side, you should see the rewards that you'll be getting. And you also get a message Flux node confirmed. All right. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, if you like my content, then give a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me. It makes the channel grow. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.